It's Casey again from Keeping It Simple Crafts. Um, I have had this awesome machine for a little over a month and it has been awesome. I love it. Um, you can check out all of my other crafts and projects that I've done on it on my blog. So today I am going to install what is called an air assist. So with the laser, Sometimes um, particles and dust and stuff from the wood gets into the laser. And so this air assist is basically to help with that and then help with the scorch marks, get a deeper cut and all of that. So this is not necessary, but it is definitely nice. Um, you can also use like masking tape over your wood projects and that helps with scorch marks. But that is a whole nother step to the process and sometimes I don't want to do that. So that is why I purchased there the Air Assist. So I have not opened it yet, but we are going to install it. So let's just jump in and look at it. step is that we need to remove the base plate. So inside here is the base plate and there are screws. So let me quickly show you. So there are five screws. base plate is now off and so now it's time to turn it around all right I got it flipped upside down you can see the base the base plate is gone so now and of course I'm following the instructions to a T as we go so the next step that I've turned around is you're going to move this gently to the middle and then you're going to bring it out here too so it's nice in the middle okay so now we are not messing with the blade so we might as well just pop it out and just put it aside so because of course it is sharp this tiny little screwdriver we're going to remove this screw and this screw on. You take this off. All right. The next step is that we need to remove the laser module. So once again, this was included. So we're going to just gently stick it into these holes. You do have to be careful because there is a lens in there and you can't displace it. All right, there, so I can see the lens, and you just have to make sure that it is not interrupted. The next step is now called the lens mount, and we're going to screw that in. What you have to make sure is these little knobs, they need to be parallel with this, and they need to be straight. So as you see right here, that is not parallel, that is perpendicular. So try to go until it is. All right, once it is parallel, now is the fun part. We get to attach the hose. So this has magnets in it. should 
just clip right onto there. Now we attach the hose. So as you can see, there are marks right here on this side and not on this side. This is the side you're going to use to put in. So you're just going to attach hose. And we're just gonna have that kind of go out here. All right, so we've got that attached, it's on good. We're gonna work with these. But before we do that, I am going to clean the surface and we've gotta flip it around. So let me do that and then we will get to working on these. All right, so I've got it flipped over. I gently flipped it. You have to just be really careful with it. Um, so these are gonna go on to here but I'm going to clean that surface so I can get a really good bond with the adhesive. So I'm using isopropanol, alcohol, and just a paper towel just to wipe it. So I'm just gonna come in and wipe it. All right, let's get started. So I flipped it and then I removed the hose. Um, just because that's what it said to do. So I removed the hose for now, and it's just a simple thing. It's made by magnet, so I just pulled it down gently and it came out very easily. So I removed that. With this one and this next one, position does matter, especially with this one because the hose, the little spots right here. So this one's gonna go, so wait, right here, this one's supposed to like match up with right here. So I know that they are supposed to match. So it's gonna go right here, and then it's gonna go right here and right here. For this one, so this one has a couple notches in it and there's a couple things right there. So that's exactly where it's going to go. So this notch right here is going to go to the top of that. So we're going to put this on first. Put that on and then it's gonna come around. This right here is going to be at the top of this. So you put that in, clamp it in. And now this part right here is gonna be on the end of this. Here. And then this part is going to go underneath. Pull it through. So get that in there. So before you like set everything up, you want to make sure that this moves freely. So as it's going, can it reach? every spot. All right, I did a little goof. <laughs> so learn from my mistakes. Um, this piece right here actually needs to be further down. When I had it over here, it when I was going like this and making sure it went everywhere, it could not go everywhere. So you do need to make sure that this is a little bit closer to this side and then this is matched up here. So learn from my mistakes. This goes further. One tip that I would do is I would like unravel your hose before setting it up because I have had issues with it like raveling and getting stuck. But you do need to make sure that this can move all over the place without the hose getting messed up. All right, so now that we have that, the next step is, if you're wondering what in the world these are for, 
the next step is for that. So what you do is when you're not using the hose, you can unclip it, unclip it, and then this is going to go into here. And this has its little thing too. So this goes Just like that so this freely moves that's when you're not using the laser close it and all of that so that is how you set it up it's time to hook this to this to the hose all right the last step is replace this and put it in and then let's try it out Now let's do the exact same cut with the air assist. All right, <clears throat> here they are side by side, and you can totally see a difference. Scorch marks, no scorch marks, huge difference. And you can even see it in this. So awesome, so sweet. Definitely recommend the Air Assist for sure, because, <clears throat> When you do like things like masking, it's a beast to get this off after it's cut. See, beast. You don't, I, that's way too much time. So definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this.